Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifire with part 8 of Ship Fight. Ship Fight is a series aimed to identify the pros and cons between two ships in a seemingly similar role and price range. I feel confident today that we have enough information to discuss these two ships. However, remember that we're expecting a flight model change, plus the addition of fuel flight mechanics, very soon. The Origin 325A and the Anvil Hornet. I think this question is pretty interesting because both are below the $100 mark, and both are listed as primary fighters. That's where the similarities end, and I believe we'll find a clear winner. This recent anniversary sale, I broke down the fighters in this video which I have linked up for you right now. Let's begin. The Anvil Hornet is a military fighter that was decommissioned for use by civilians, protect their stuff, and blow people up. Its big brother, the Super Hornet, is a massive community favorite, but it's nowhere near this price range. The Hornet series in general is a favorite of Chris Roberts. It was a major part of the original Kickstarter pitch video, and it has that classic X-Wing cockpit feel to it. The platform is tough, semi-modular because of the center ring, and very reliable in combat. The Hornet is an iconic fighter from Anvil, a trusted name. The Origin 325A is an interesting ship because it's the dedicated fighter variant of the 300 series from Origin who aren't really known for fighting, more for luxury. They incorporate the technology, trendy lines, fit and finish. If you're looking for a fighter, you'd think immediately that the Hornet was hands down the win. But let's take a look at the game stats. The Hornet mounts three size 3 hardpoints, two SCU of cargo in a replaceable box, two size 3 pylons and two size 2 pylons. The 325A comes standard with a single size 4 hardpoint, which is massive. There are so many strong size 4 weapons, and being center mounted, it's in line with the pilot's view. Plus two size 3s on the wing, two size 3 pylons, a bed and also carries two SCU of cargo. The Hornet lists 4000 hit points, and as you would expect from Origin, the 325A only has 1280. This is a massive difference, but in the past I did find often that agility worked well as a defense. I was often able to out DPS a tank by staying out of its arcs. So, so far it's a toss up. Each have a huge advantage. Let's keep digging by factoring fuel, pledge price, and component quality. Origin's known for its fuel regeneration technology, as we saw on the 100i concept, and the Hornet being a carrier based fighter has this as a massive limitation. Carrier based ships are going to need support. The 325A can operate independent, at least more independent. Being a decommissioned ship, the Hornet now has civilian components. The 325A lists military grade components as part of its default loadout. The 325A has a bed for logging out. The Hornet does not, and possibly the biggest upset for this ship fight, the 325A is also a lot cheaper. I'd love to hear your opinion, and obviously we know there's going to be changes in the future. Please let me know in the comments what you'd choose and why. Thank you very much for your support. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.